exponent equations are basically equations where there's something to do with an exponent and either we're trying to solve the exponent and again exponents are the same thing as power so like there's a power we don't know or there's maybe some variable to a power and we know something about it so the exponent equations kind of come in two forms and our first two examples here is what we're going to look at the first one we can look at here is that a to the power of 3 is equal to 27 so for me, solving these problems, it's really helpful for me to think through it in words to myself. What is a to the power of 3 equal 27 even describing? And so for me, I'm thinking that that means something like this. What to the power of 3 equals 27? a is the unknown, so what to the power of 3 would equal 27? And another way to look at that, remember that to the power of 3 means that it's timesing by itself 3 times. So what times by itself 3 times equals 27? So something times itself times itself again is equal to 27. And often in these problems you might just be using something like trial and error, unless you just have all these basic facts in your head really well. But if I didn't know, you would start with trial and error. Let's try it. 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. That doesn't work. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. That does work. So my answer, which you have to make sure you write, is a equals 3. If you just leave something like this on your page, that doesn't actually work. You need to tell them that you know that the unknown there, a, is actually equal to 3. Now the other type of example that we get is instead of the base being the unknown, like in the first one where it was a to the power of 3 and we didn't know the a, it's the other way around. Here we don't know what the power is. We don't know what that exponent is. So in this problem, we see 5 to the power of a is equal to 25. And so in words to myself, 5 to the power of what is equal to 25? And if I'm not sure, I just start trying. 5 times 5 equals 25. Well, that's 5 to the power of 2 because I use two 5s. So I wouldn't write this as my answer. This is true, but that's not good enough for my answer. I need to write a is equal to 2. And again, if you're not sure what it is, you just keep timesing on more to see if you get to the right answer. So, again, let's look at two more examples here. We'll go back to the first type here, where the base is the unknown. So I'm saying what times itself four times is going to equal 16. And trial and error, again, is probably going to be the way that I'm going to go about this, unless you're really familiar with these things. So I might start at 1, but that's not very fun, because 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is just 1. So the next thing I might try is 2. And one of the ways that I like to write this out is 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. That is my answer. Let's just check how many 2's did I use. 1, 2, 3, 4... So if I write it out that way, where I've got 2 times 2 and then my answer below, 4 times 2 and then my answer below, 8 times 2 and then my answer below, I can make sure I count up enough of them. It's really common for students to mis, um, miscount. They actually don't count that first 2. They just say 2 times 2 and they count it as 1, 2 there, but you're timesing two twos together, just make sure you count both of them. So my answer here, m is going to be equal to 2. And there is a little trick on this one. It does get slightly more complex. Um, and my reason for that is because let's think about an alternative here. Going back to trial and error, what if I did negative 2? So let's do it. Negative 2 times negative 2 is equal to a positive 4 times a negative 2 is equal to a negative 8 times a negative 2 is equal to a positive 16. So that's another way to get my answer. I could have also had m is equal to negative 2. So both of these are correct. And my reason for that is because I have an even power. That m to the power of 4, that power there is an even, which means that my negatives are going to cancel out, leaving me with a positive answer. On the example above, I had an odd power to the power of 3, so there's only one solution for me there. I know it's either going to be a negative or positive, depending on the answer. Here, because I've got the even power, I'm going to have two solutions. So, if you get just the first solution, that's fine, like it's either very basic, maybe achieved level, but if you can go further with it and recognize that there are actually two solutions, one positive and one negative, because of the even power, you'll get more credit for that. 
so watch out for that. Even powers will give two solutions. One positive and one negative. We'll probably look at some more examples of that as we work through this, but keep that in mind. If you have something that you're trying to find for an even power, you will have two solutions. And I promise many of you will forget that many times, but keep working at it and remind yourself to look for that because it does make a distinction for you between a basic level and a higher level achievement. So if we look at our fourth example here, I'm looking at 3 to the power of something I don't know. So 3 to the power of x times 81, what's it going to be? And again, for me, trial and error, unless you have all these things memorized in your head, you can just write down what it is. But I'll just start, and again, I'll do my working the same way. 3 times 3, answer below is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. Oops, 81. And then I just need to go back and count up how many I used. 1, 2, 3, and 4 threes. So x here is equal to 4, making sure that you actually write out what the variable is equal to. And I don't have to worry about positive or negatives here because I'm trying to find the power, not the base. So here when you're finding the base, it's that even power means two things. Right. Um, we will look at a few more examples that involve more than one step in the next section, but keep in mind don't be afraid to say these problems into words for yourself. So looking back at that first example again, what times itself three times is going to equal 27? Compared to five times itself how many times is going to get me to 25? And think about trial and error. If you don't know, just start at two, try three, try four, try five, try six, keep trying until you find the one that actually works. And double check and watch out for that. If you're looking for a base with an even power, there are potentially two solutions, one being positive and one being negative, because of the fact that the negatives will cancel each other out if they're even powers.